I've been in Arup for seven years and in that period I've had a wonderful time helping clients all over the world to gradually change to a more resilient, low carbon future. I've learned so much and I've worked with some of the very best people in the world and I've worked all over the world. So for me, it's been a wonderful learning curve. The next thing I'm going to do is I've created a charity called the Ecological Sequestration Trust, which is planning to create a, an agent-based integrated resource model, that sounds complicated, which basically allows you to plan and work out the economic benefits of infrastructure investment and resource efficiency. And we're going to put that model into three demonstration regions, one in India, one in Africa and one in China, and then support those regions to demonstrate a very profound improvement in resource efficiency, lowering carbon emissions and improving quality of life and then to connect those demonstrators to learning and research networks around the world so everyone else can benefit with the model becoming an open source model that every region in the world can use. In order to do this, I have to go to philanthropists and, and the world's biggest companies to get them to give me the funding to enable this to happen. And in an organisation like Arup, you're not in a position, if you're not a charity, to go and find the capital to be able to invest in such a dramatic, transformative set of projects. So basically, it isn't possible to do it in the private sector, but also it isn't possible to do it in the public sector either. So I'm going to step into the middle with some money to actually help people to find that profound change to demonstrate it. Before I joined Arup, I'd, I'd helped to deliver major infrastructure projects all over the world. So I had a pretty good understanding of how to deliver infrastructure and what benefits it could bring. But I realised that often we're doing infrastructure in silos. We're doing transport infrastructure, energy, water, waste, and we're not connecting them up. And I realised in the planning in, in Arab, when we started to join them up, we could achieve much more profound outcomes. And therefore, we could connect the right sort of infrastructure up to create the ecological age outcomes. And when you look at it, the World Bank, ADB, European Investment Bank, are not doing that and they're investing in projects that aren't delivering the resource efficiency and low carbon outcomes we want. So I thought if we had these models and demonstrators it would enable everyone to see what could be done better.